Hi, YouTubers and WebSavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, we're going to have a shave this morning with another great classic samurai razor. I saw this on Amazon.com and I had to have it. This is really a nice razor. Um, unlike anything else I've ever seen before, and classic samurai is really introducing a wide variety of safety razors and shavettes and a lot of great, great shaving gear. So let's get right to this. This is the CS204. Look at that. That is a beautifully thick handled safety razor. It's absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice. It comes with five Astra blades and we're going to be using that blade today for the shave. But here is the razor and it is a three-piece razor and it has one of the largest diameter handles I've ever seen. Really, really nice heft to it. Great balance. Really good precise blade alignment and nice blade balance. And uh, again, it is really a terrific razor. I've had a chance to shave with this several times before and it is nice. It has the classic Samurai logo etched on the cap. Let me give, a, let me give you a look here. Uh, how this compares to some of the other razors I had. Here's my late father's classic super speed razor and you can see it's about the same height but my gosh look at the diameter of that handle. Wow isn't that something? Here it is uh, next to a Mercur HD 34C and look at that again about the same height but the handle again is this just this generous diameter to the handle. And uh, here's my short-handled ebony Edwin Jagger razor. And again, same height, so it's a short-handled razor, but it really does have a lot of meat to it. I mean, it is really, I mean, you can really feel this in your hand. It is really, really a large diameter razor. It's built like a tank and it looks great and again nice weight uh, really nice balance we're going to shave with it and we're going to use the astro blades i'm also going to use a classic samurai brush here's the shaving brush a black handled shaving brush very nice has a uh, synthetic knot on it has some nice backbone very very soft we're going to be using this one for the very first time. I've got some cold water in my sink and I'm going to throw that in there like that and let that soak a little bit. And I am doing a cold water shave again this morning. I'm loving the cold water shave. Uh, hopefully I'll get back to a warm water shave, but right now I'm on a cold water shave kick. If you haven't done a cold water shave, give it a try. It really is uh, very invigorating and will cut down on uh, irritation for some of you who have sensitive skin. Uh, we're also going to be using Colonel Conk's Lime Soap, Lime Soap Puck like this. And I already have one in my Classic Samurai Apothecary Shaving Mug. It's right in there like that. I've used it several times. And the really nice mug, the, the Colonel Conk uh, Shaving Pucks fit perfectly in there. All you got to do is drop them in. They fit perfectly in there. And um, has this great classic samurai logo to it. It's raised, really nice look. It's ceramic, very, very nicely made. Like this a lot. We're gonna put just a little bit of water in there, let that soak up a little bit. And uh, all I have to do now is uh, load the razor blade. Load the razor with the razor blade. So we're gonna take my Astra blade right here and we're gonna open that up. Nice blade alignment, nice blade balance. The end tabs uh, protrude just a little bit, but not much. So definitely not a deal breaker in my book. Again, uh, really feels great in the hand. So we're all set here. So let's wet the face and we'll get right to our shape. Okay, I got a good coating of water on there. 
We're gonna take uh, my uh, Classic Samurai Apothecary Shaving Mug. I'm going to dump out that excess water. Got my brush here. I'm gonna give it a nice little ring here. Okay, so let's go ahead and load the brush and we're gonna do a face lather. So I'm just gonna load the brush here. This brush has a really, really nice feel to it. And before I go any further, I wanted to show you this, that this brush is the same size, same handle size as my Art of Shaving Badger brush. Look at that, same size handle. Same, same height in the knot as well. All right, I just wanted to show you that. But it also is a very good size to be your daily driver at home. And it's a nice size if you want to travel with it too. You can throw that in your dock kit and it won't take up much room. So uh, I'm going to load the brush. And I think that's enough. And yeah, a little more. Seems to be a nice size to this shaving mug. I can get a really nice firm grip of it. Right there, uh, right there on the knob and around with my hand. Seems to work really well. Like that a lot. Okay. All right, good. Got a really nice load on the brush. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do a face lather. Wow, brush does a nice job. Has enough backbone to really generate that lather. Bristles are nice and soft to really paint things on. And uh, I'm very impressed with it. Nice brush, nice synthetic brush. This is my first use with this brush. Do a little more face lather there. Wow, it, man, built a lot of lather. Look at that. Of course, I've always believed that synthetic brushes, and my experience has always been, synthetic brushes just tend to work better when you're using a, they work better with a hard soap or a shave stick. That's just been my experience. A lot of guys like using bore brushes with their hard soaps, uh, badger brushes. I think that I believe, and my experience has been, that the synthetic brush really works best and builds the best lather with hard soaps. Wow, look at that. And we have plenty on the brush. And Colonel Conk is a glycerin-based soap, so it loves water. So the next pass, we're probably gonna have to add just a little bit of water, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Look how much lather I have on this brush. Really nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse my hands a little bit. Dry them off a little bit. Here's our razor ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and just wet that from the tap. I used to warm up my razors in, uh, you know, in hot water and then uh, cool them down a little bit in the warm water in a bowl. I don't do that anymore because I'm doing a cold water shave, but I do like to just wet the razor just to get it ready. Uh, just that little bit extra, a little bit of water seems to help with that initial cut. Um, okay, so here we go. Get rid of that. Okay, so here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Nice, mild, efficient razor. Really, really nice. And you can hear it just taking that whisker right down. Nice weight, nice weight to this razor. It does all the work. Uh, it really does, if you have large hands, uh, you're gonna like this. this. It's a short handled razor, but there's enough of a diameter where you can really get a nice hold of it.
Terrific, terrific, terrific. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> that's a terrific first pass. Wow, this is really, really, really very, very efficient razor. Really, really nice. All right, got enough on here. Let's go ahead and lather up for a second pass. And again, I got more than enough soap on the brush. Okay, that's got it. Very nice. All right. With that little bit. Okay, here go. Here we go with our second pass. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Very, very maneuverable. I mean, really terrific and maneuverable. Um, gets into the tight areas underneath my nose. Um, really, really, just a nice weight, great feel of the hand, really substantial. Like it a lot. Second pass done, let's rinse. Well, I'm done. That is a complete shave. Really, really, very, very nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and drain my sink and uh, do a one final rinse with cold water and then we'll get to my post shave routine. Hurry up! <laughs> there you go. All right. Okay, here's my cold, my final cold water rinse. Well, I had to do quite a bit of rinsing there because Colonel Conks does have a lot of slickness, but that's, but that's great. That's why uh, a lot of wet shavers like it a lot. All right, I've got a nice, clean, fresh towel here waiting for me. Oh, okay, very nice. Really, really nice. All right, my post-shave routine, because I didn't tell you about that in the beginning of the uh, video, I'm going to be using my Osma Alum Block to uh, uh, kind of seal up my pores and uh, get rid of the ear, a little bit of micro abrasions and irritation, that sort of thing. And we're going to follow that up with uh, Paraso Green, a uh, nice menthol uh, scent and feel to it, really terrific. And for upstairs, we're going to be using Paraso Sensitive Skin and maybe a little bit on the face as well. So here's my Osma Block. I'm going to go ahead and wet that. Very nice. Hey. That's great. Now, uh, remember to uh, always dry off, pat dry your alum block, get all that excess water off of it. If you have a little dish like this, just set it in there, let it air dry, it'll be ready to go for your next shave. A lot of you have seen me in previous videos use the Omega alum stick. This is great for travel, but again, I notice the difference between, the main difference between, the two main differences between this and the Osma block is, is this one here is molded to this shape. 
however they mold these and then they make this shape. This it comes out of France and it's actually cut from a larger block of Allen and machined down to this size. So it's a solid block. So it's unlikely that this is going to dissolve over time. This may, I don't know. Uh, the other thing that is uh, that I like about the block is using this area, you have more surface area on the skin. Whereas this, you just have this tip here. So it takes a little longer to apply the alum here. However, this is very, very good for travel. Um, this is good for travel too if you have a travel case, but this really is kind of built for travel. And you also have this nice handle here too. So uh, whatever is your preference, six or one, half a dozen, the other, I guess. Uh, that little bit of chat allowed me to have this set up a little bit. So we're going to let it set up a little bit more too. Okay, so in the time that I'm allowing that alum to kind of set up and dry and evaporate, whatever it's doing, I always do a little bit of cleanup, clean my razor, clean my brush, that sort of thing. So we are all set. We're going to do our final step with some Parasso. Uh, great, great menthol kick to this stuff. And uh, given the quality of the razor and the blade, those Astro blades were really nice. They pair up very, very well uh, with this razor. Uh, given the quality of the shave and the fact that I didn't get any zinging, well, I didn't get any stinging from the Allen bar, I know I got a really nice irritation-free shave. And I know that there's going to be a little bit of a delayed effect with the uh, menthol and the Parasol, and there is. It's just now starting to kind of kick in. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. And I'm going to use a little bit of the Brasso sensitive skin here for upstairs. Just a little bit. I don't think I need anything on my face. I just want to moisturize the top of that there because I, if you hadn't noticed, I don't have any hair up there. <laughs> All right. Great shave. Wow. This was a really, really terrific, terrific shave. I'm, I'm really impressed with uh, the classic samurai line of shavers, uh, razors. Um, they have some great, great uh, product out there. They really, really do. Uh, you've seen me use the 203, the Butterfly, and now this, this is the 204. They also have a complete line of shavettes. Classic Samurai makes a lot of great product for the wet shaver. It's a great time to be a traditional wet shaver. There are so many companies out there offering so much uh, in the way of shaving gear. It's unbelievable. And Classic Samurai has a wide variety of product out there. This is the CS204. This is a terrific razor. If you're looking for a short handled, yet nice thick handled, well-made razor, this Really, check this one out. I am really enjoying the shaves I'm getting with this. Like it a lot. Got it up on Amazon. I'll have links below for this and for all the other stuff that Classic Samurai offers. Also, a link directly to their website, Classic Samurai. Um, check them out. Really, really nice. Okay, hey, thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below. Let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other cartoons, other videos like this. And I'll see you again real soon.